I have two boys, um, one and a half and three and a half. That wasn't at school for about two or three years. I wasn't doing anything. Well, I didn't enjoy normal high school. And then when I found out I was pregnant, I wanted to do online schooling. But my mum really wanted me to stay socialised with people and she found this program and I started when I was pregnant. One of the special things about our program is that the babies are in the classroom, which gives that lovely bonding and connection for these young women. And the girls really think that's exciting because they say their baby's going to university um, when they're one month old. <laughs> and also whilst they're there, we do have the ability to have people that can help look after them whilst that young person is in the classroom. On Mondays, my son comes with me and on the other days he's in childcare and we do like English and maths and our business course where we have created our own business of sewing and they named it Snuggle Boxes. And the idea is to make baby boxes for mothers in need for the first 12 months of their life. So we've all been split up into groups. So I'm in the sewing team and we have accountants, supervisors, OHS managers and all different parts of it. We make and sew cot sheets, blankets and mattress covers for these baby boxes that we get sent and then we ship them off to women in need. And then we get to leave with a certificate to in business at the end as well. I've been able to learn that working with other companies it's not that simple and we both need to hold up our own end of what we agree to. They've had to work together, they've had to negotiate as well. They've had to have those conversations, those meetings on a regular basis um, and realise what works and what doesn't work and that's a excellent transferable skills that they can use into the real world. In like traditional schools, I didn't feel like the teachers cared about my education and me wanting to actually succeed. But yeah, I do. I feel like they do care and want us to do well in life. It's really good. It's a nice, supportive environment. It's good to have the help. That's what I love about it, because um, initially they come in and they've got, a lot of them have got low self-esteem and they don't think much of themselves, but then by the end of it you see them walking out and you know that they're going out there with good skills, good confidence and just, yeah, have grown. Um, immensely. It's going to give them options to pursue um, whatever they want to pursue. If that's joining the workforce, going on to further education, um, they're going to have those options open to them, which is fantastic. The program's been going for 10 years, and over that time, it's changed lots and lots of lives for the young women who have participated in it. It might just be something as small as completing a year 11 or 12, but that gives them the confidence that they can do it. It might be that they've gone on to do extra study. I don't know, like I've learned a lot. Like I feel like I've grown as a person and getting out of the house and things and meeting people and it's, yeah, changed a lot. I've been able to connect with my son and not have to have him in childcare at a really young age and be able to finish my schooling which I wouldn't have done otherwise and it'll be easier for me to get a job and continue to be successful.